In this video, we're going to look at writing ionic equations and some rules on how to write them. The first thing that we're going to do, though, is look at what an ion is and what happens to an ion in solution, because this will help you understand what ionic equations are all about. So, ionic solids are made up of positive and negative ions, and in water, they break up into their individual, either positive or negative ion. And an ionic equation shows this. So it's important that we know the formulae of some positive and negative ions. So I've got some common ones here that you're expected to know at A level. Um, so there's some simple ones like hydrogen H plus at the top, fluoride F minus at the top. But just be careful because there are some more complicated um, ions as well. So not all ions are made up of just one element on their own. So hydroxide is an oxygen and a hydrogen ion, and then a hydroxide ion is OH minus. Um, and then there's ones like sulfate, which is sulfur and four oxygen, so SO4 and then two minus, and carbonate, um, CO3 two minus, and nitrate, NO3 um, minus. Okay? So, Getting on to writing out ionic equations, there's five basic rules, um, which we're going to go through some examples. So rule one, write out the balance symbol equation. Rule two, add state symbols. That bit is essential, and that bit is the key to getting this thing right. Okay, because once you've done rule two, you can then do rule three, which is split any species that are dissolved in solution, so any AQ, aqueous species, into their separate ions. Um, once you've done that, you basically then look if there's any ions that appear on, on both sides of the equation, and if there are, you cancel those ones out. And then step five is just tidying up and writing out the, the finished ionic equation. So what we're going to do next is look at three examples, and we're going to follow the rules to write out an ionic equation for each. What you can do is pause the video and test yourself to see if you can complete it, and then check your answers once you've done. So, if we have a look at our first example, sodium hydroxide plus hydrochloric acid makes sodium chloride on water. Step one is to write out the balance symbol equation. There it is, NaOH plus HCl makes NaCl plus H2O. So step two, the important one, is to write out the state symbols. So, sodium hydroxide is Aq, dissolved in water. Um, hydrochloric acid is also AQ, sodium chloride is also AQ, but H2O isn't, H2O is L for liquid. So the next step is to split all the AQ species into their individual ions. This leaves us with a sodium ion, a hydroxide ion, a hydrogen ion and a chloride ion on the left hand side, a sodium ion, a chloride ion, on the right hand side and the H2O are liquid which remains unchanged because it's a liquid, it's not AQ so we leave that one alone. This is called the full or the complete ionic equation. We can simplify this so you might get asked to write the simplest ionic equation and to do this you cancel out ions that appear on both sides of the arrow. So there's a sodium ion there and a sodium ion there, they cancel each other out. There's a chloride ion there and a chloride ion there, they cancel each other out. What we get left with is called the simplest ionic equation, or sometimes it's called the net ion equation. So in this case, it's the hydroxide OH minus ion plus the hydrogen ion making H2O liquid. Okay, so we're going to look at some more examples. What I suggest you do for this is just um, pause the video, have a go at writing yourself, and I'm going to write up, on the, write up the answers on this. So there's the balance symbol equation. You should know that calcium is a solid, H2O is a liquid, calcium hydroxide is aqueous, and hydrogen is a gas. This means that the only thing that I've got to split into ions is the calcium and the hydroxide. And I've got two hydroxide ions, so two OH minus ions. And what I actually get left with is the simplest ionic equation because there's no ions that need cancelling out on either side. This next example, this is a key equation from inorganic chemistry and the reaction of reactions of chlorine. So chlorine reacts with water to form hydrochloric acid, which is aqueous, and 
hypochloric 1 acid which is also aqueous. So if I split up the aqueous species into their ions, so hydrogen chloride becomes hydrogen plus and chloride becomes um, chloride minus. Chloric 1 acid becomes H plus and we get the chlorate 1 ion, ClO minus. And that is the simplest ionic equation because there's nothing to cancel out on the left hand side. So there you go, job done. Have a go at practicing some of these, have a go at following the rules and that's how to write ionic equations.